Hey, what's going on my fellow collectors? Today, let's take a look at the Storm Collectibles Mike Tyson 1-6 collectible figure. This thing is really cool. I'm definitely happy to have it in my collection. We do get this really nice big box. It kind of has this really nice painted image of the man himself on the front. We do have the you know signature. We got Mike Tyson, the youngest heavyweight champion, 1-6 collectible figure. At the top, we have Storm Collectibles logo there. And on the bottom of the box, we have, again, just the Mike Tyson. On the top of the box, you get the same thing. On the side, you kind of get this kind of cool little painted design. Again, telling us Mike Tyson, 1-6 collectible figure. Same thing on this side. On the back, again, we get really nice, you know, artwork. We do have the Mike Tyson again. The Storm Collectibles and all the other kind of logos and insignia. Package artwork by Hive. So they did an awesome job with this packet. This is kind of like a shoe box. So you just kind of give it that slow plop. Come on now. There it goes. And of course, once you take off the top of the packaging, you pretty much can have the same thing as a slip cover. You pull the slip cover out and you do have the figure nicely packaged behind all of the foam pieces. So this is really, really cool. But that is the packaging. Let's get them all out and take a closer look. Okay, here he is all out of the packaging along with all of the accessories that we get with this awesome Mike Tyson figure. Very, very cool. Loads of accessories, so let's go through them. Uh, starting off, we do get this really nice base. It's got the Mike Tyson, the youngest heavyweight, inscripted on there, so that's really cool. Um, we do have the crotch grabber, of course, and I do like this design. You kind of like pop it in the back here. So that's really cool, and of course you do have the adjustable cradle. I guess I didn't click it in all the way. So that is cool. We do get his speed bag. And this is done really, really nice. It's got the little Everlast on there. Really nice stitching work. So that's cool. And these are two separate pieces. It's kind of like scratching the paint up already. But that's very cool. You just kind of port this piece in there. And then you can either put that on this side or this side of the stand. He does come with his heavyweight championship belt. This is done really, really nice. Really nice stitching. Really nice gold color on the plate and the buckles. And of course, this is actually like a, a you know actual working belt. So that is very nice. We do get an option of having him in his sweat outfit. So you do get a really, really nicely done sweatshirt that does have a working zipper on it. So that is cool. It feels just like a you know sweatshirt. Really nice job on Storm Collectibles with these garments. Really, really cool. Of course, you do have the pants, which have the drawstrings. Just really, really nicely stitched and you know just very professionally done. So that is very cool. We do have an option of uh, bare feet, and these are done really nice. You got the toenails and some veins sculpted in there. So that is cool. Of course, you do have a set of gloves, and, and again, these are done really, really nice. Really, really cool how they have the Everlast patch on there and everything. Really nice stitch work all throughout them, and these are just kind of like untied, relaxed, gloved hands. Then we do have two sets of ungloved hands with the wraps on them, and these are done really nice. Really nice sculpt and paint on the wraps themselves. So you get a pair of relaxed hands, and you get a pair of fist hands with the wraps. So that's really, really cool. And they all come with the you know dumbbell joint already in them. So I do like that. You don't have to worry about taking you know those in and off. We do have uh, an alternate face. 
and this is done really nice I mean really nice likeness of Mike Tyson I like the more serious face that's on him right now better but I mean really nice job overall with that really really nice likeness nice sculpting nice paint he actually has his mouthpiece in there but yeah that is that is 100% Mike Tyson right there very very nice job on the head sculpt so that is all the accessories that he comes with um, let's take a closer look at the figure okay now taking a closer look at the figure this is a 1-6 scale figure and Mike Tyson is a little bit over 11 inches tall almost like 11 and a quarter inch tall so nice scaling with him in that scale and taking a closer look at this head sculpt on him I think they did a really good job this is my favorite head sculpt really really nice job just really captures the likeness of Mike Tyson through and through love the head sculpt very very cool nice paint the eyes look really nice. Nice sculpting on the hair. And now, I mean, for the body of this, it's really cool. It's like, it's almost like a very soft rubber that they use on here. And they just kind of like airbrush some shading to really bring out the definition. But, I mean, it looks really, really good. You know, really nice sculpting on the body through and through by Storm. Very cool. And even the neck is like a solid piece, but it's kind of soft and there is like a double, you know, ball joint in there. But you do see we have the one arms. The arms might be a little bit on the skinny side, just a little bit, but it's not too, too bad. We do have his, you know, Mike tattoo and his other tattoo down here. But just really, really nice definition all throughout this figure and nice sculpting. And then of course you do have the boxing gloves that are just, you know, closed fist. And these are done really, really well. Really nice sculpt and paint on those. And then you do have his shorts, which again are done really, really nice by Storm. You know, really nice stitching all throughout them. They fit them really well. Legs look really good, nice definition in the muscles and everything. And then of course you do have his boots. So they're just all done in all black. Really nice job. So I mean yeah, I think it's a it's a really, really nice looking figure. I mean the only thing I can kinda say is maybe his arms are a little bit too, you know, skinny. Just a little bit, but I mean overall it does make a really, really nice piece. And uh, um, Storm Collectibles is coming out with a newer version of this that will be seamless, I believe. You won't have these seams. But um, this is one that I've been wanting to pick up for quite a while. And I did find it at a pretty reasonable price. So I just went ahead and had to grab him. But really, really nice job all the way around with this figure. It just looks awesome. Now, um, as far as articulation, we do get nice articulation with them. Like I said, the head just kind of has a double ball peg and it's kind of like a soft neck but um, you do get nice movement with it so you I mean of course you get full rotation you get down you get up you get side to side so I mean you get kind of all around movement with that head and of course the arms they come all the way out uh, they kind of shift up and down in in that socket course that will rotate all the way around um, you do have bend at the elbow which you know you're only going to get about 90 degrees you can kind of see up in the body but you can kind of you know cover that so you do get you know f forward and back almost like a butterfly movement in that shoulder so that's really cool you do get you know full twist you get a little bit of back a little bit of forward you don't really get any side, you just more or less get rotation. Um, there is a little bit of crunch in there, but you don't really get too much movement out of that. But it is there, so you can kind of crunch him forward and back. Of course, the legs, you know, come out with do the full splits. Kick forward really nice. Kick back, you do have the rotation. Um, 
man, really, really tight joints at the knee. But you get, you know, pretty much a single bend. I'm guessing it's probably a double joint, but that side is really, really tight. Yeah, really, really tight movement in the knees. And then, of course, down here, you just have, you know, a little bit of up and down. You have swivel. That's about it. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it is such a nice figure. I mean, it just really, really looks good. It's going to be a nice representation of Mike Tyson in your 1-6 scale collection. Comes with a load of different options. You know, you can put them in the sweatsuit. You got the alternate face. Put that head sculpt on there. I mean, even that one looks good, man. That's like more like in the ring, you know, getting ready to fight. Let me take this off so I can get a closer look at this and get some different light. But yeah, just really, really nice job on that head sculpt all the way around. Just looks awesome. But yeah, Storm Collectible, 1 6 Mike Tyson figure. Done really, really, really well. Just want to kind of scan up and get some different points of light so you can really see all the details in this guy. Like I said, that is a little bit frustrating, but you can easily cover that with his shoulders. You know, you can kind of shift that up and down. Very, very cool figure. And of course you have the other head sculpt, which is just done really, really nice. Mike Tyson all the way around. So really, really nice job. I'm definitely glad to have this figure in my collection. It's definitely one that I've been wanting for a long time. Like I said, the, uh, Storm is coming out with that new edition, and there is a couple different versions of this figure. But I mean, this one does come with the speed bag. You get the, you know, loads of different accessories. You have the gloves, you got the bare feet, you got the sweatsuit. And of course, you do have the belt along with the base and the speed bag. But yeah, guys, that is a look at the Storm Collectibles Mike Tyson, the youngest heavyweight champion. And that is the 1-6 scale figure. Very, very cool. Let me get some other 1-6 scales out here just to give you a size comparison. Okay, and as far as some comparisons, here is Mike Tyson next to a couple other 1-6 scale collectibles that I do have, which is the Christopher Reeves Superman. Awesome, awesome figure right there, and the Batman Returns. So as you see, between them two, I mean, he looks great. He's definitely in scale, definitely shorter than Christopher Reeves and Michael Keaton. He's got a nice build on him. Like I said, I wish his arms were a little bit bigger. And I think, uh, you know, the new version that Storm's coming out with is correcting that. Almost a little too big. But, uh, I mean, yeah, this is just an awesome, awesome looking figure. Great representation of... The man himself, Mike Tyson. So it's going to make a really nice piece in your 1-6 collection. But that's the review, guys. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next figure review. Take care.